Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Episode 8, do you believe it or not? So today I would actually like to do some environmental tech. It doesn't seem to be too difficult, but there's no manual that I could find. I think it's disappeared since uh, I was doing it in Forever Stranded. But I suspect that everything's roughly the same. So let's see what we can do. First of all, we need to do, it's runic crafting isn't it, so from Britannia, so that's why we were doing that. Now what we have to make is, I think we have to make these blocks of the green stuff here, litharite, which is made from litharite crystals. So we need some dyes, green dyes, lime green dyes, flints and some diamonds, I mean, that makes four. Well, I think, I'm not sure exactly how many we're going to do, but we'll just start with a stack of each. Now dyes. There's a, it's fairly easy. What we can do is like this. That'll make lime green. That's 48. It's a bit difficult to go. I suppose it can go like this, can't we? Finish it off. 63. One extra. You can also do it like this as well. This 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 thing has actually uses. Let's get the use of this one. So, for example, for the lime green flower, bid that one would give us some form, and we can then take some of those. And then put those through the grinder and to make some leaves like that and then we can take those and we can then take those with the pestle and mortar and make in those into dyes so let's do that as well and we're going to do the same for these ordinary green leaves here like you see it's shapeless crafting so it takes a, it's a bit slow it seems to be a bit slow so we need what did we need flints let's Take a couple of stacks of flints and stack of diamonds and see how many of these things we can actually make. So, this one. We're going to make just under two stacks, aren't we? So, what are we actually short of? Not diamonds, not that. Probably a dye. Dark green dye. Okay. Let's make some of that then. say dark green dye, I should just say green dye really, shouldn't I, this one. And I think we only need one set. Pass the water I've put away, let's just get that out. Where did I put the pestle and mortar? Oh, straight place. I suspect it went in there automatically, did it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, take those off first of all, get eight of those. And they've gone into there because I've run out of space. So we should be able to make the next one of these. And that'll give us two stacks. And then we can go and put away what we've got. The rest of it we don't need with us. So with the dyes and stuff like that, I think we don't need those. So now, the runic altar is full. Let's see if we can actually do this. Nine of these per block is going to be quite heavy on the both on the manor, but manor's production is full. In fact, let's we just come over here and just oops, too far away. I think I picked up some. I oh, now put the blaze rods away, haven't I? So, what we do is for the nine of these nine. Ooh. <laughs> Now what do I have to do? Living rock, isn't it? I need some living rock. That's, uh, I think that's already ready. I've got some living rock with me. Let's just take this and take this with us. So then we do, what do we do? Just throw this onto here, I think. Right click it. Oh, it's already done. It's already on there. I've got two on. Is that not... Have we got to use this one? Ooh, I have. So we've got the right block as a quest completed. Fantastic. Let's do that again. Now do I just, I think what I have to do is take this off here and then simply right click this with an empty hand. Right click another one of those on there and then when it's ready, oops, too near. I think it might even be ready. Let's put it, try that again. And right click this with it. Oh, good, no good noises. I think that might even be ready. <laughs> I quite like doing this. <laughs> Let's take up some of this while that 
make sure we've got some more while we're doing that. So here we go again. Right click it. One of those aren't. One of those aren't. Oh, such fun. I have no idea how many we're going to need, but we're going to make a few. We're going to use up what, well, probably try to use up all what we got, actually, because it's not too difficult to do, is it? I don't suppose these are using up too much mana when I'm doing this. It's ready as it's got its little flamey bits of And again. Right click with them down to do the last recipe, which is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Such an explosive noise. Alright, we've got seven. I think we'll do eight blocks. Uh oh, try again. Great stuff. Now, at least we know one thing we can do. What would be really good to make is probably a solar panel because they are just they are just awesome. But let's have a look at the void ore miners to start with. Might be able to do that anyway. Now the void ore resource miner, personal nano beacons are actually also awesome things. I really like those lightning controller. We don't well actually maybe that wouldn't be too bad in this place as it happens. On Forever Stranded, we didn't get any lightning or very little. So, avoid all minor controller tier one. So, we need four of those block of diamonds, one diode. What's a diode? Oh, that's not actually going to be too difficult. Does it have to be pink glass? If it does have to be pink glass, what's the recipe for pink glass? I want the recipe that's not that color. Just a pink dye in the middle of eight glass. Well, that'll do fine. Okay, no problem. Dice will do. We'll do the. We'll do the same way as before with dice. Let's just take. I'm not sure whether I because he's nerfed the color. The colors, which is a bit of a shame. I don't understand that. It might not have pink. Let's have a look at the uses of this one. No, it doesn't have pink. So we'll use the part. We'll use the flower one instead. Maybe he's forgotten to nerf the flower one. Anyway, mystical flowers are this one. So now we want the uses of that one, and we want pink flowers. There's a magenta. This one. Four will be more than enough. Let's just do four for the time being. So let's just pulverize these up. Oh, now I've got to do this first. I'm not going to get the petals. Let's give me eight petal petals. Eight dies. One die around glass will give me eight pink glass and leave me with a seven pink die, which is very nice. And then we need, I can't remember the exact recipe, I'll have to go back to the, the, the recipe, the ore miner, void ore miner controller. We need this one. Oh, it doesn't matter what color glass I could have used, clear. So we can make one diode. What have we got here? Interconnects. Now interconnects are basically letherite thrown. Oh, okay, so we need another. Maybe we can do that. Two blocks of that to make the interconnects. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if I don't just have to put those down here beside the beside the daisy. Like that. In fact, while I'm doing that, I'm going to get some more stone and make some more living rock with the rest of the stuff. One thing good about the um, the quantum quarry here, oh, it's full again. Huh. Do you know it's been getting all sorts of strange things just recently? And uh, no, when I say strange, it's been getting things like plums, eucalyptus leaves, which is not going to help me very much. Take the plums out of there. And a few other bits and pieces. So let's just take that. I've put the plums in here. I'm just putting them in here for the time being. I probably should find a space for them. As you see, it's, it's also got some eucalyptus wood. So wherever it's doing at the moment, it seems to be mining up some interesting bits and pieces. 
So I wanted that, and I want to make sure I've got my magic unbreakable wand. Because I'm going to have to look at a lot of this. Now, how far is that going? I don't know how long it's going to take to make an interconnect. We'll just have to leave it for a bit. Because we've got everything else, I think. Let's just double check that recipe. So, the void or the resource miner. That's the resource miner. I want the war miner. Nope, that's just a block of diamonds. No big deal. And a lens. So, I just need a plain lens. That one. Okay, that's just just glass again I guess, That's just ordinary glass I think so we need seven of those maybe I could even use the pink one as well but I think that gives me a coloured one and a block of diamonds so the lens was a, just a what do we say, it was just a an H fantastic we get the clear lens so let's double check the recipe now this one isn't it so we're just missing these two interconnects. So let's hope that they're done by now. Oh, they're not done yet. But they are they are doing their particle effect, so it is definitely working. We'll just chop these up, put some more down. And wait for those to get done. And that's it. Then we've actually got our first bit and bits and pieces. Now what we have to do with this, it has to have a route to bedrock. Oh, reminds me, Bob the Big Bat says I should be looking at this um, Flux Network. I think it's called Flux Network actually. For transpor transporting power around. That's immersive tech. Flux Networks. So we just type in on that one. So that's a plug, a point, controller, basic storage. I wonder if it has any form of book on this thing. It's always nice, a gigantic flux storage, Herculean <laughs> flux storage, <laughs> a basic flux storage. Flux blocks, okay. Flux, which is redstone burnt, I think. Uh, what says flux? Obsidian Eye of Ender gives me four of those ones. Because you'd need four, so you'd have to burn up some redstone. Actually, that's less of a problem than you think, because we can do fire in a controlled way. I like fire in a controlled way. We've got one of them. And in fact, we should have a lever too. Where's that lever gone to? I saw one. You know, one of the things... Well, I got... One of the things I do... I, I love and hate, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with um, mods that do everything for me. So, for example, Applied Energistics. The reason I have a love-hate relationship with them is it basically it takes you, takes the thinking away. It makes things easy, of course, but it rem we can't remember where the things are. It's a bit like a game of memory, this, isn't it? I quite like that, oddly enough. A bit daft, but there we are. So I'm not going to do that too far away. I think here will be s nah, one more block away, and let's do this. Like that. And I'm going to put down the hibachi here. And then all we need to do is power that with a lever. Let's put a lever over here. I should put a lever onto the side of this, I think. Like that. And then we can throw our redstone in there. We get flux. Ah, oh, right. The interconnects are at last made. So let's take those out. So that did actually work. Phew. What do we need? Pickaxe, fine. more living rock let's put some more down keep it going while we're actually there so we should be able to make the void or rem minor tier one and indeed we can now we actually complete a quest void tier one void or minor what a surprise <laughs> What you have to do with this? Let's put it down. Uh, I'm going to put it down on some nether, nether brick, I think, just for the sake of it. 
now when we take this thing here, the assembly assembler, I think it's called, yes, the assembler, we right click this. Does it tell me what I need? Well, it shift right click does break it as not as it's expected, but it should also tell me what I need for this one. Now, how does that work? I don't want to throw. I don't want to keep throwing uh, shurikens at it. Let's look again. Now, does it give me any information? Ah, oh, there we go. Fantastic. Left clicking it. So required for this one. So I need twenty four structured tier one frames or above. So let's have a look at that one. Oops. Structure frames. So let's do it from this one. Structure tank tier one, fantastic, tier two. Normally we can't do that until afterwards. So we need some more of these litherite oh and some interconnects and we need twenty-four of these. Okay, that's gonna take <laughs> a little bit of time. We need twenty of these. And and each one of those is quite a lot anyway but so we need nine times 20 180 of those that's going to take a while 180 of these plus plus two for each one so that's a hundred uh, that's another 40 isn't it so we need that's 300, oh, 306 160 of them that's going to take a while to do well I tell you what, I'm going to prepare that between episodes because that's going to take forever. <laughs> but at least we've figured out what else we what we have to do to do this thing. It's nice, it tells you. So we've got 20, 24 of those. Sorry, I'm going to miscount that completely. A laser core, a laser lens of any type, and a structure panel. 20 structure panels. Well, it's not cheap, this stuff, is it? Now, what's a structure panel? It should show me up in here because that's the frame. Tier 6, structure panel. Okay. No problem with those. We've got stacks of those from the uh, minish rooms and a connector. No problem with that either. We can, get lots of, we can get lots of those. So that's not a big deal. And I think I'll prepare one or two now. And then we'll do the rest later on. So let's have a look. I think it's time to use some more essences. Redstone essence. I've probably got 11,000. It's getting a weeny bit full. Let's take three of those. And iron. Is that iron essence? Indeed it is. Let's take two of those. Now, the uses of this one, let's look at the uses of this one first. That's going to give me six stack. It's going to give me exactly a stack, isn't it? 16 times four. So the stack went into there. And the uses of this one, actually we already know the use of this one. We probably, probably, probably better do use it on here like that than going click and shoving them in. So we've got quite a lot of redstone now, so we should be able to make those things. Flux block structured panel. So we need, that's going to give us, we need one of those for each one and we need 20. So we only actually need five sets of this. Just like that. Can I shift those away? Indeed, I can. Good. And the rest we'll put in here. So empties out our inventory nicely. I'm going to put the rest of these dies in there. I'm going to have to obviously make tons of that stuff, but that's not a big deal. We, we, we know how to make dies. Uh, petals, no big deal whatsoever. Now, it's night time, but it's not probably not going to work. We want to upgrade our altar. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> oh, yep, and I've also made... Oh, did it bring with me? Yes, I did. A waystone. Because I don't want to keep coming over here every five minutes. 
put that away stone. So where should we put the waste stone? I'm obviously going to have to expand this a little bit. Um, and it's going to be moved a bit. Yeah. Tell you what. Let's come down here. What have, we, what have we got for space? I've got plenty of space. Fantastic. Let's take this. Let's break up this one. We don't need any of this stuff on here, I don't think. So let's just or excavate. All of this stuff away. Oh, magnet. I have got my magnet, it's just here. It would be sensible to take it with us. <laughs> oh, it's so nice having these these reliquary charms, they're great. Oh, broke it that time, did it? Okay. I didn't expect that, but then again, I wasn't really paying attention. I should use the. Oh, is that everything? Good. In fact, I've got so much plain marble, I'll use the plain marble. And I think I've actually got it outside my. Yes, I have indeed. Look. What's he pissing. hitting at, I was going to say. So let's just put some marble down here, and then we can extend extend this area out quite a lot. Do you know what I saw the other day when I was here? I saw a blight zombie villager. Cause that go on there because it's got snow. There you are. Let's take the Inferium pack. So I should really make a nice one of these, but. They're so expensive. <laughs> like that. Let's do this side. Like this. I'm just going to go around and extend it by one block all the way around, I think. Strange noises. Do you know? I don't know what all the noises are, to be honest with you, but yeah, from all the different types of mobs. That's a zombie village, yeah? I wonder if he's still there. Oh, yes, he is. Look. <laughs> he was there since last time. He was there since last time. Funny. Okay, let's try this. Right, so last, actually last time I played the game and also right that's decent so we can put the waste down to, we'll just put it down here and what we're going to call this one we're going to call this one the uh, starlight I should really call it the altar but and then we activate it because before I forget right click it Otherwise, it doesn't go into the uh, list of places. I'm curious to see how full this thing doing. 41,000 buckets and the crystal's gone away. So, it's that one rock crystal made a lot of um, starlight. So, this time, I have actually prepared one of these things. Let's do another one. Let's have a look how much starlight it's got in here. Of course, it's come to daytime now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out of here. Now where has it gone to? Well, I'll prepare all the ingredients first of all. But we will this angel block. Brilliant, love the angel blocks. We don't need to be too high and too far away. Let's do it about here. Just put this, just put this one down like that, and we've got a base in order to work on. I can stand on it. So now what do we need to do? I need a sooty marble. What have we got the obsidian? Not sooty marble. I need sooty marble. And we've got everything we need. Don't we? I think we have anyway. Uh, but not in those ones. Uh, here we go. 
So I've got a crafting table too. Nice lightning. So maybe the lightning one is actually quite a maybe it'd be a good a good one to do. Let's put this down here. So sooty marble is basically one piece of coal. If I can do that right, with marble all the way around it. And that produces eight pieces of sooty marble. Like that. So now we put the sooty marble on on this pillar here like this, and then we surround that. I think we'll do it here. <laughs> Maybe have to break the snow off it first of all. Like that. And then we surround this. So I don't I don't think I need my crafting table again. So let's just pick that up. And also pick up the um angel block, which we have to do with a pickaxe. And it fell down. Did it fall down? Shouldn't have done. Let's go and get it. Once you've got your one block down there, the rest of it's dead easy. So that has to be surrounded by chiselled marble and marble arches. Now they should be in here. And of course, I'm going to have to <laughs> tell you what. Let's just do that over here. And you can see that one's actually working. So chiselled marble, I think we need four of those. I'm not 100% sure. We need a few of these. Uh, not arches. I want. I want the marble arch. That's the one. That's what we need. I think that's what we need. I think it's the chiselled one. It's not the pillars. Yeah, I'm sure. Good. So what we do is we put the arches in the middle, like oh, too near, like that. again and then we've put the chisel marble on the corners and then we get the spectral relay hopefully I've got my spectral relay with me and my glass I think I have actually spectral relay I'm having oh there we go one spectral relay and one glass lens. I picked up some other bits and pieces as I was going along. So we now put this into onto that. I think just press it right, click it on there, that's good. And then we can get the, the lens on that. So let's go and have a look at the um the altar before we go and put this on to see what the what difference it makes. So at the moment it's around about what, quarter, third, no, quarter isn't it? Well, that's boosted a significant amount, as you can see. And it's all just going to go. I'm going to put down a couple more of those, if you can bear with me. Well, at least we'll put down another one. I've got a feeling just I'm going to not need too many. Let's get the food out of the way. Get the angel block here. Actually, I'm doing it down one, but around about level 120 would be good, but I don't think it matters too much. Let's put that down there. Put the marble on top of it. Come down here. Now I can break it. This time I did pick it up, which is good. So then we just put the arches around the out in the middle here. And I didn't get the rest of the chiseled out of the out of here. Go, I'm gonna have to get pair and do that, aren't I? It would be sensible to I'll put this one away, don't need that there. Well, of course we can do that from standing on top of this like this. Now we need the relay. And 
and then the glass. So that hasn't seemed to have increased it too much. I'm going to go and do another one. It's not night time, I don't think. So we'll just do the last of the four that I prepared the stuff for. Seems to be going high, but they're definitely working. You can see the starlight coming off those, can't you? Let's try that again. We're going higher each time, I think I am. <laughs> Good. Let's just get the angel block before I forget it. It wouldn't be the first time. Okay, now we just need to swap the, that one over. Let's put that in slot 5 by pressing f highlighting and pressing 5. That's always a good trick if you don't know that one. Shift right click that on there. Let's get the lens. Just shift click it down. Oops, it goes up there. It should go down to that one. And that's also working. And it's full. Fantastic. Look at that. So we can actually upgrade this altar. And I'm not sure whether I should do it yet. Because I'm not sure if I've got all the bits and pieces that I need to do it. Now, if I remember rightly, all we have to do is one of those. A bucket of starlight. I'm going to try it anyway. I think I've decided I want to try this anyway. Well, we need to for a bucket of starlight. Of course, is to hit the drum with a bucket. It fills up a bucket of starlight. And I think that goes in the middle. And then we needed some chiselled, chiselled marble, didn't we? What's the recipe for this? Just four pieces of any marble will do so I saw raw marble in there so maybe that let's just try that in case I haven't got enough and so I've got to remove everything I've got which is not good oh yes that works fine and our wand let's right click this Okay, good. I should go and do, I should go and do some mining, shouldn't I? So now let's see if I can remember what I have to do for this. I'm just going to guess. I think it was. Oh, they've gone into the end null, the dank null, of course. <laughs> let's take those out of there. Now I think. I'm going to guess. I think that was there, that was there, and the chisel marble was on the corners. And it had two aquamarine in the middle. So actually, I'm trying to remember this from yesterday, to be honest with you. I want to say yesterday, the last time I did this, which I think was like yesterday. And so I probably got it completely wrong. Yeah, maybe they have to go the other way around. Nope, let's have a look at the recipe for it then. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. Um, so it's this one. Oh, it's pillars. Oh, it's not aquamarine. Okay, good. So we need these four pillars. I'm not sure I've got lots of those in here actually. Ninety-nine. So I think those were the right way around to start with. And indeed it is. And it will work. So, bit of a risk. I'm going to take it anyway. Nice effect. Might actually give me another quest reward. This I should have checked that to start with, shouldn't I? 
Ta da! <laughs> That's good. And that, uh, sure enough, we've got our uh, upgraded altar. This doesn't work, of course, because I've got to put this into an hour and to put, into, put this into a structure. Let's hit a look. Yeah, thread. So, oh, I've got a bucket back. Fantastic. I'll take the bucket out of that. So, let's go and have a look at the book. Now, where have I put the book? I'm searching for everything. That's my Britannia stuff. Here we go. The astral term. That was a funny bang. Do you know what I'm going to make here as well? I'm going to make um, uh, a mega torch, I think. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> I was watching that blight zombie running. So let's open up the tomb. So we got oh we've got something else. We've got attunement now. Discovery and exploration. I think we're still on exploration. Let's just mouse click this into here. It's still too small. I can I not scroll that now? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, click it disappears. Okay. So I have to scroll it more. Okay, so it goes more. I should make a looking glass as well. So we've done, we haven't done that one. We've done the starlight craft and let's have a look. It says the starlight focusing abilities of luminous crafting table and the additional starlight reservoir makes it significant upgrade to the normal crafting table. However, even with improved upon, the, I don't want to read all of that just yet. What we have to do is click this one, I think. Oh, maybe next page. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> right, so what do we need? So it's a 9 by 4 by 9. So we need 21 sooty marble. No big deal. We should be able to do that here. Unfortunately, my space is not going to be big enough. I'm going to have to break this thing, even though it's got a bit of starlight in it. Doesn't matter too much. I don't. Th oh, we can move the art. We can move the ultra, of course. 9 by 4. So we've got three here. Let's just do it that way. How much marble have I got? Plenty of marble, I know, because I've got. S let's put this. Let's go over here. I have to put up with these zombie noises, which in fact is. I'm going to say. Leave this stuff in here. Okay, good. I don't even need the snow, but I'll keep the snow with him because it's gonna, I'm probably going to pick up more as I do this. So, 9 by 4. Let's start here and count from here. 3, 6. So that's actually 6 wide. I'm going to make a base of 9. Let's get the wand out. What I'm going to do is I'm flying because it's quickest. That should be nine. Let's make it another one. Two for good measure. So how wide is this now? We'll come out of it here, I think. It, it was funny that when it's got one snowball here and it doesn't make it actually finish it off. But no big deal, we can do it like that. That's a decent sized base, isn't it? Problem is I suspect the mobs are gonna spawn down here now, so what I need to do is to make it so that mobs don't spawn. Have I got any torches with me? I've got some useless unlit torches. No, I don't have any torches. But I'll put down this one just in case. Um let's put this down here. It won't help me, but it it at least will prevent the things from it getting near to us. So now, the base. So we need to make some sooty marble, and we needed how many? Let's get that book out again. Twenty-one sooty marble. Can we actually? Ro so we can rotate it even better. Look. So we just need a some marble steps in the middle. What's it say? Chiselled marble. No. Marble bricks. Okay, we can make 24 marble bricks. Let's have a look at that one. I guess that marble bricks is just like normal bricks. I 
Okay, I have to get it in the dank mill here. And yeah, sure enough, it doesn't want to do it. Let's just shift, shift right clicking, it's not doing it. Um, now, how do I. Ah, yes, I can rotate it. Then it should work, actually. I oh, know it doesn't. I still can't open the thing. Let's put down a cobblestone and break the cobblestone. Uh, I still can't open it. This thing is great, but also when it doesn't work, it's really frustrating. Gosh, got it now. Good. So chisel marble. My guess is we have to go like this. Indeed we do. Now what do we need? 24. Double check the recipe. Oh, I shall take those off me. Otherwise, they'll float into the sky. Not just marble. marble bricks. That's right. Now, 21 sooty marble. How many sooty marble have we got now? Five. Okay, let's get down the crafting table. Put it over here. Of course, we're going to find it. Scruff those back into a cobblestone. Chuck the cobblestone in the air and get picked up by the tank mill. So we need five. Twenty one, how about that? Would you believe that? That was actually just a bit of luck. So back to the book. Twenty one. Eight marble pillars. We have plenty of those. Twenty eight marble arches. And I don't think I've got twenty eight marble arches. Let's just check on this thing. Pillars we've got plenty of. Marble arches. Oh we got twenty eight, exactly. That's a bit of luck as well, isn't it? What else oh we got plenty of marble bricks. Doesn't see. Right, start that out. Uh, eight chiselled marble. I think we have everything we need. Just eight chiselled marble. I don't, and I've got twelve. That's fine. Okay. So, let's put it. Let's put it down in the middle. Huh? I can presume I can pick this thing up. The pickaxe. Yes, I can. Good. Oh, I pick it up and I get. I get a reward, fantastic. Oh, it is updated and I actually have completed it, that's good. Let's just see if I can put down, I don't want to put down, oh those are bricks aren't they? Good. Nine. It's here. So let's put down some marble bricks in it, there on the first one of those. And then it goes sooty marble around this, doesn't it? And I think it's sooty marble around it completely. We just, I can always break it if I got it wrong. I'll leave the snow, I don't need the snow right all at the moment. Now let's, and now we're gonna to have to go back to the book, I'm afraid. So yes, it's all round. So then we have another brick on the corners and the rest is filled in. Okay, so. Bricks go here, and I'm going to have to move my old thing, that's no big deal. And then this one gets filled in, now it's, is it here? Let me double check the book again, because I, indeed it is. So we then have a row after that, okay good. Now I think it's here then, I think it's here. Yeah, look, I think that's where it is. And I've just break this one up because I put that in the wrong place. And then the sooty marble goes here. That makes sense, doesn't it? One, two, three.
good. So now I just need to put this, these around the outside of that. Ah, oh. now it's chiseled marble. We need marble. We need marble. Let's get that out of the dank mill again. A stack of that. Let's take a stack of it and we can easily fill it in then. So that is one. So there's another outside this. So I'm basically need to pick up this and break these down. Because I don't need these here. And I suspect there's holes underneath this. Noisy blighters, aren't they? So we just need straight, I think we just need plain marble outside this. Let's just do that as well. Oh, I'll get my, no, it is on. Is it on? Do you know, it's hard to actually tell whether this thing is on or not. So let's just make sure it is on. It is on, yeah. Okay, good. I have to break this one away, unfortunately. We'll put this down as the Starlight Altar this time. We'll call it something different. In fact, I've got a better place for it now anyway, so that's fine. And this doesn't, this doesn't break, which is also nice. Okay, right, click it so it's activated. So now it just needs plain marble around this, but I better take away this row at least. I don't want to all mine that away. Actually, I could all mine this away, actually. Well, that's looking decent. Now, what have I got to the last, the last bit? I'm going to double check the book again. Ah, oh, so around the outsides, marble arches and pillars on the corners. Okay, so we need eight marble pillars. Okay, that's fair enough. So I guess I understand that now. So the eight marble pillars will be here. It needs to be up two. Well, they form nicely, don't they? When they actually put them up two. So that on top of that, then we then put marble arches. We've got sixteen. Now we need got twenty-eight. And I think that these are the ones which go on the outside, but they don't fill in the corners. Don't mind me doing this on camera, by the way. I should have asked, really. Tell you what we'll do. Let's get the the wand going here and fill in this area. At least a bit. It does stop the it does stop the zombies being quite a little bit less noisy, doesn't it? So marble arches. And then the last row here, I think. It's looking decent. Let's put the altar in the middle of this now. And I've got to put something on those pillars, but I'm not sure what it is yet. Let's have a look at the book again. It looks like chiseled marble. How many chiseled marble it needs? Eight. So where is the other chiseled marble? So 
It's a bit confusing. Because that's the right height now. Because it's a four block high, isn't it? Unless I'm supposed to put it in the corners, but let's have a look. Not yet ready. Well, the only place I can think of putting these is here. So it's wrong. <laughs> well, since we can turn it round, those are. Ah, okay, I see. I messed those up. They go underneath these pillars here, so we can do that easily enough, I guess. That's really quite a nice uh, tool, isn't it? So in in here they go. Let's get the marble arches out. I just need to break two blocks back here, don't I? Of course, I need to remove these, but I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> I'm also very pleased that I've got the creeper one as well. That would be a, I can tell you, it would be a pain. Now, does it matter if I've got those in there? Yes, it does. Okay, I think I've got everything right except for these corner bits we have to get rid of. And that's still wrong. Well, I'm puzzled. Let's have a look. Let's go and fly down and have a look from underneath. Well, I don't think there's anything that we need to do un directly underneath this. Unless it's counting these, it can't be. Let's have a look at that book again. So we've got the pillars on the corners, and we've got arches all the way around there, that's fine. We've got sooty marble in there, yes, that's fine. What's we got underneath there? Oh, it's black. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, that's a bit uh, we should have one more piece of sooty marble in that case indeed we do ok so I have to remove this one I'll do it from here I think we'll put the sooty marble down here and that's it fantastic I just got it to work after all that time oh sorry and it's been an hour an hour's episode, that's a bit on the long side, I do apologise. So between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of those bits and pieces I need to do the ore miner. Because uh, it's going to take a long time and I don't think it's too important for you. You've seen me do it all, all the bits and pieces, so I reckon we can just get on and do that. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. I should claim some of the quests, shouldn't I? Well, I'll do that next time. Bye. Bye again.